here. More space engineers, and we've gotten a little bit done. Let's talk about it. <laughs> oh, all right. So not a whole lot's changed over here, other than we have put in a dedicated system here. Uh, so we have a sorter that only lets scrap into the basic refinery, which then spits out ingots back into the loop. Very simple loop. Works really, really well. Uh, basically, it got all the all of the scrap out of our refiner loop, uh, and it keeps the resources pretty clear. Now, I don't actually have it processing stone because I want this to be literally just something that pulls all the scrap out of our network for us. Uh, but I do need to add a couple more refineries. But we'll also need to add some power. So. What I'm doing right now is I've got the boom out here on full extension, so we're doing a sweep. So we can see just how much area we're going to be talking about once everything is said and done. Um, because of that, I've added some more cargo. In fact, I have, I want to say, doubled my cargo. We've got four of the industrial containers on this side and four more on this side. So we've got those actually connected in via some pipes got those up off the ground so that if we do get any NPCs like the zombies or spiders or anything that show up uh, they're not going to get stuck on that stuff and potentially damage it. Uh, and then the other thing I did is I've actually got let me turn that light off um, these spotlights are now set to sensors under the pad so when you bring a ship in the lights will be off and then when you get into a certain range the lights will actually turn on while you're docking and then once you're you're landed so you always have your ship's highlight um, but like I said when you're not here it basically turns everything off for you works really really well it's a simple system but uh, I like it and then this pad is going to be kind of the dedicated landing area for the shuttle once we have it. the new pad for the cargo hauler moved and the reason I'm waiting to put that out is because what we're going to end up with is probably a conveyor junction here that feeds out into another network but the problem is is that I don't know how much room this sweep is going to take um, it's uh, it's pretty ridiculous as it is already. Let's, uh, let's head this way and I'll show you. We'll hop in our little the little mini mite thing here. All right, so we will get those on, get that switched over. I'll turn lights on so you can see. All right. All right. So as you can see, this is basically the the width that we're going to see on this entire sweep when it's done. Now I'm thinking this outer portion, I may only do, I'm thinking maybe five total sweeps on this side. Um, everything here back, basically, eh, you know what? No, we'll just do the, we'll do the initial verticals. Once we're done with those, that's that's as far as we'll take it. Because that's going to be pretty much all of the ice and into a bit of the stone. And I'm basically going to need to, I think, probably double my uh, what I have for storage. And so if you remember last time we were talking about doing the underground power, with this thing being as big as it is, this might actually become the primary base. And what we'll do is we'll actually sink because we might even do end up with this being the full depth um, of the entire thing at its furthest reach uh, so when those are all fully extended basically and those are fully retracted uh, if we do that then we can have multiple layers of storage we'll be able to have much larger production facility and we'll still be able to put the reactor stuff down in the ground and what I'm thinking for that is that I may sink oh, let's come down here because if we bring everything down to basically even just this level we're what where's our 83 so if we're 
here. We're 50 meters below ground, roughly. And that's pretty far down. I mean, look at how much... Yeah, this should be deep. This should actually be deep enough. So what I, what I may do then is um, excavate all of the sweep out between here and the farthest extension and we'll just move a base or we'll make a base down here and I'm thinking um, probably from this side let's head up and I'll show you so what I'm thinking is just maybe have where we have this little arm at right now have that drop down to the bottom of this pit and then cut back in under the base and what we'll do is we'll put a room in with our reactors because I'm thinking that we can get a really large reactor room in there and then if we put a shield generator on it then we should be okay now part of the reason for this is that I was thinking about it like I said I do want to be able to have uh, basically pr multiple directions of attack and defense but I, I'm the more I think about it, the more I really don't want to leave this space just kind of hanging out here. And I kind of want to incorporate this large area that we're planning on excavating into a base proper. And I'm thinking that with something like this, what we can do is we'll actually be able to put um, subterranean hangars in. Because even the like ridiculously large ships fit well within this area and so I'm thinking that'll potentially give us something to work with and I mean, we don't even have to put like hangar doors or anything on it we can just leave it open and if I really want something I can build something that fits over it um, I think I maybe even do like I uh, like a custom iris door or something that could be interesting Nothing too complex, maybe like just say four hinges and then just have basically corner panels that swing in and out. Uh, or we could just put it, just make it a little bit more clang resistant and put it all on pistons. Like have it on I don't know, two or three pistons and have it set so that it retracts. I don't know. Let me know what you think. I mean, we could always just go really simple, do just regular hinges and have the doors open upwards, either up or down. Having them open down might be interesting. I mean, it's not like we don't have the room for it. All right, so let's land this little beast here for just a minute. I love the fact that it's weighted just right. That with everything, it doesn't really tip over. Well, it's not really the weight, I guess. That's because of the drills. But yeah, like I said, I'm thinking that's what we're going to probably end up doing. So what we'll... In the near future, what we'll probably end up with is um, an extended build series. Uh, where we'll be excavating some of that out. Building this area. Because I want, I want to get the reactors online first. And what I'll probably do is have a uh, a filter set on that where we'll have like a cargo container somewhere that will hold uranium for us and then maybe put like two yeah probably do two of the um, large refiners and we'll spec them out to give us yield and then we'll have a filter a filtering sorter on it so that those are only processing uranium and then that feeds back into a closed loop with the reactors so the reactors will only ever pull uranium from the refineries and the refineries will only be refining uranium from the grid without feeding anything back into it that should work all right so i think that's a, that's got our plan so what i'll do is with, i'm not really worried about reclaiming or capturing any of that resource because we're going to have so much stuff. I mean, it's just crazy the amount of stone and everything we're going to be pulling out of this. But I think, yeah, let's go ahead and 
Uh, let's go here. And we're gonna head down. I wanna get this as level as possible. And that's not sure just how far down this is gonna go, but we do wanna bring. And I am not even going to worry about the zombies. Alright. So. Now, since all this is going to be underground, I'm not going to worry too much about what we got going on. Uh, you actually have three level. Alright. I'm probably going to get away with it. A little bit. Yeah, it's really good. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and figure out where our ground our ground level is. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll leave leave a little bit of that. Should end up about at this level. this to go in quite a bit. Now I haven't actually planned out exactly how much we're going to do with this. And realistically I don't even need it to be airtight because we are on the Earth-like planet. The only thing we would do, or the only reason we would need to like armor up the walls is if we wanted to have more protection in here. And realistically anything that gets down to this level considering that it's going to be within an armored structure we've got larger things to worry about because anything you can get down here the walls aren't going to stop it uh, how far? I need a backup camera on this thing so I can see how far we've gotten in uh, uh, let's go Let's go with three more updates. That'll be two. One, two, three. There we go. Okay, that should that should be far enough. Alright. That's so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna do just a flat turn there we go. and we're just gonna excavate back a little bit And again, this is really just to make it a little bit easier for us when we get in here. I'm just gonna... Let's see if that should work. And we're gonna do the same... <coughs> Excuse me. We're gonna do the same on the other side. swing around, level ourselves off again. Like I said, if we need to come back down here, we'll we'll be able to. I just want to get things kind of started, so you can see what the general plan and thought process is here. 
There you go. That should work. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and get ourselves out. And... Not too worried about everything going on, just need to get us somewhere somewhat secure. And like I said, I'm going to do quite a few more passes, because at this point I do think that we're just going to go ahead and excavate the entire thing out. Let's turn this off. Um, just because we can, honestly. Alright, so if we come over here now. And I won't... Actually, we need to turn the bobs off. Because bobs are going to try and weld this up, and we do not want that. There we go. And it doesn't matter if it's... how many blocks the finished area is. close actually to the center. And then that says to there. So yeah that's almost exactly where we want for depth. Okay. We'll do two, three. Alright. That's seven blocks wide. Yeah, so if it ends up seven blocks wide, that will not be a bad thing. And basically we'll just come through here and take all this out. And we'll bring this back up. This is so we can clear the stuff out of the middle. gets us connected in. I'll do the same on the other side. Like I said, I do want that to be three, and then that comes up. Having it be seven wide gives us a lot of room. So if we want, if we do want to put things like blast doors in or any of the hangar doors, we'll be able to use most of that style stuff. All right. have gone just a touch. There you go. We can take that out. And most of this is actually going to come out as well. Just go ahead and take this out. Ta-da! All right, and that gets us the basis of what we're trying to build. And like I said, this is basically going to come back. That'll be the back wall at that area. Uh, so we have. How big are the gates? I don't remember. All right, so if we're doing seven, two, three, four, be there. So we'll have an oversized gate that heads into that reactor area. Uh, prob we'll probably end up making this a passageway, like a protected passageway, back to something back like here somewhere. Uh, let's go. Actually, are you full block width? You are. Okay. So let's go from that side. To that side. To 
there. Okay. Four, I think, might work. Uh, you are going to be the same. I want you on that level, so. Did I? Actually, one, two, three, four, five. That's one block there. One block in from there. Okay. So the the hole we dug is not quite where we want it up. Which is fun. What do we do for? And then that will come down to there. And I'll wind up with another gate here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and excavate this out. It's nickel. We've got a, we've got a bunch of it. Off the, just blow up the gate. All right. And there. Let's make it one, two, three. Oh, I'm out of blocks. Or out of uh, plates. <sighs> Alright, we'll go grab some more plates. So, basically, what we're going to do, bring this back. We'll have another gate behind it, and then the rest of this will be set up for the reactor space. And part of the reason why I wanted all of this here is because we're going to excavate under the ice basically i'm gonna probably cut a pilot hole in somewhere like around here or so until we can get up to this point in fact we're going to uh let's set a gps here i'm gonna say uh And so what we'll do is from, we can actually do this from down here now. We know roughly where it's at on which grid. So we can, we can literally just count this off. It's one block over, so one, two, three, four. So it's gonna be directly above this area. And we just have to, We'll just count back to however many blocks we need and then dig straight up and see if we can hit the connection. Um, and then we'll be able to pipe everything down in here. And we'll run that. I'll probably run off to the side and down behind the wall. Um, actually, we could. That could be interesting. We could pipe it down the wall. So, so once we have everything in, if we do, if we're doing a curved wall here, this middle piece would, would be removed, and we'd run the conveyor down that way, and maybe do it on both sides, just to mirror it, and then somewhere up in the stone, we would actually have a meet up in, into a single line. Ooh, I'm kind of liking where that's going. Okay, so let's take a look at. Our reactors, and I do think I'm going to use the um, industrial, the warfare hangers, warfare, nah, warfare reactors. So we have a connection on the bottom, in the middle, on the side, in the middle, and top on the middle. I should say the back. So I'm thinking if we're running it at that height. Maybe have it drop down one, or have it come up one. Having it come up one might be interesting. Because we have enough room. I'm not, I am not really worried about that. Because like I said, worst case, we can always just excavate more. 
so maybe having it come up one block so you come through the double no I guess it would be it'd be good to have it like that all right okay so I am going to work on this it's mostly going to be just excavation and block stuff so what we'll do is we're going to call this one here and I'm going to work on this on and off as we go um, see if we can get that up and running and one of the things I still need to do is to swing up to the asteroid base pick up a bunch of uh, uranium bring that back uh, still have a lot to do basically okay anyway I'm gonna get out of here I'm gonna thank y'all for stopping and hopefully you enjoyed it if you did you know the routine I am gonna get out of here I hope you all have a fantastic day enjoy the rest of your week and we'll see you back here next time for more space engineers as always folks <laughs> take care and be safe out there everybody <laughs> oh still so much to do